I have no memories of that day. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. The only thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. Look for D. Who is D? Those words keep spinning in my head. At the time, with no compelling evidence, the case hit a dead end. I quit the BPD. However, under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even a dead-end case. I'll do everything in my power to find this D. I swear I will. And when I do... Oh, Peggy. Amanda? Escape now! <gasps> this is Amanda. She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. And that's something of a lifeline for me, as I don't really go outside. Just who she is, though, well, my memory holds no answers. <sighs> Yo, David, everything ship shake? As you can see, Teddy. Someone definitely got the jump on you. <laughs> Forrest Kaysen, a detective with the Boston Police Department, and my former partner. He still helps me out nowadays in my search for Dee. He's both a client and a source of information. He gets whatever I need. <clears throat> Women are always trouble. Doesn't matter how old they get, trouble. I'm fighting with Diana again? <sighs> like you wouldn't believe. Women, men don't stand a chance. Don't come and see me. Actually means get right over here. But then leave me alone just means, well, leave me alone. How am I meant to make sense of that? Tell me, David, please.
coffee from a different place can be nice once in a while. Once in a while? All the time is more like it. Uh, I was a fool to ask you. Man, Diana is so stupid. Once feared as the mighty grizzly, detective among detectives. Now he's more like a big teddy bear. What's the point of the place? Teddy, what's this? So, tell me, David, have you heard the news about that airplane accident, huh? Access Gate Airways Flight 117, struck by unexplained lightning. No one's talking about anything else right now. We might be looking at the real deal. I've got the good stuff for you this time. Passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? Antonio Zapatero, otherwise known as Rabbit. He's a courier who only carries real blood. This one promised to provide evidence after being brought to Boston. Evidence that may well have led to the ID of the source of real blood. But then the lightning struck, and in the confusion, he vanished. He escaped somehow? No. When I say vanished, that's pretty much what I mean. Like something out of a magic act. So, clue me in. What makes this one the real deal? The name of the boss he was going to give up? apparently starts with the letter D. This courier might have had evidence revealing the identity of D. So, interested yet? Let me ask you again. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? No, it's impossible. There's someone pulling the strings behind this mystery. Right on the money, David. The third party most likely used the confusion to spirit the courier away. Lots of people want the evidence he was carrying, after all. From the evidence I was able to bring, this particular item is the most interesting. The owner of that badge was involved in this incident. Well? No doubt about it. This is a memento. Great. It's yours then. Let's hope it's the last one you'll ever need.
okay? What's up, David? Feeling hungry? Okay, good. Let's eat then. I know you too well. You probably have only been drinking alcohol. <laughs> Your badge says detective for a reason, Teddy. <laughs> Go get Amanda. The more the merrier at the dinner table. Tell me, Teddy. What's up with you and Diana? Mm, nothing much. It's just how we roll. New York versus Boston again? That's the root of it. But both of you are originally from New York. I thought you'd be double teaming me. I've been living in Boston for 30 years, man. I'm a Bostonian now, body and soul. Diana doesn't see it that way? Still got her head stuck right up in New York. So what was it this time? Baseball? Basketball? Not football. Nope. Something bigger. But what's bigger than sports rivalry? Oh, um, this one's bigger. Much bigger. It's all about clam chowder. Clam chowder. Yeah! Clam chowder! No matter how you slice it, Boston has the best clam chowder in the world. You're with me on this, right? Right? Huh? Oh, but Diana just can't see it. I have no basis for comparison. What? I've never eaten clam chowder anywhere but Boston. So it's the best in the world by default! Come on. Come on. Come on! Oh, come on, David! Mmm... Sorry. Uh. I can't help you out. I can't say anything absolute that isn't based on personal experience. I need you on this! All I needed you to say was damn straight! Uh. What's up, David? Something you needed to ask? So why'd this courier turn witness, anyway? I don't know the details, but apparently he's in fear for his life. He turned himself into the DEA. And they trust him? Uh, I don't know about that, either. But this is information about the mastermind behind real blood. I mean, they're probably saying, can't hurt to hear him out. I feel exactly the same way. What's the bio on the courier? Antonio Zapatero, 28. Quick to go underground, but then quickly pops up again somewhere else. That's why they call him the Courier Rabbit. <laughs> why Rabbit? He's also a womanizer. So... You know how rabbits are. Strong libidos. I bet the ladies call him Bunny in bed. <laughs> Why is this courier running his mouth about providing evidence then? Standing out like that, he'll get penalized and sit out a match. It's like he's begging the bad guys to come silence him. It's a real blood case, after all. I mean, a regular courier wouldn't talk, even if it meant death. I had to choose between jail and hell. Oh man, I'd still choose lockup. Uh, there's something behind all this. So it's all a big conspiracy? Don't ask me. There are people who have conspiracy theories about your case, though. 
You lost your beloved wife, and I lost the best partner a cop could ever ask for. Yeah, the more you think about the questions, the more distant the answers become. Humans may not have the ability to understand the complete truth. So how are the BPD tied up in this? The BPD has the special drugs unit, after all. The team you once belonged to. Once? We have a long history of handling real blood. Our past knowledge can come in handy for cases like this one. Any progress with the case since I left? Uh, we're still hard at work on it. We're not getting any results. This drug is king across New England now. Mm. Yeah, it's been under analysis for years, but MIT still doesn't know how to make it. Seriously, the world's going to hell. Do you think the past can be changed? David, you can't change the past. You just have to accept the past. I know, but if I could just meet with little Peggy one last time, I'll change the past. You'll see. Amanda, do you want to watch too? We're just at the best bit. Little. I don't have time for this right now.
When a desire goes unfulfilled, it only increases in power. Stagnating like a blocked pond, those are the mementos I seek. Those are the kind of memories that will invite me back into the past. I was lucky to survive. Ironically though, I've got a best piece of evidence still lodged in my head. <laughs> Teddy. Thanks for all the help. Huh, no problem, David. We're partners. You may have quit the force, but that fact won't change. Hell, if you trace it all the way back, if I hadn't asked you to join up in the first place... Teddy! No, no, no. Don't give me that look, Amanda. I'm just trying to give him a reason to live. Little Peggy, time has been frozen for me since that day. <laughs> Will I see you this time? <laughs> Swimming with the shark.